Hey, so uh, it's just me today. Uh, we uh, recorded the first part of this and it got, well, we had uh, just updated from Windows 10 and all of our audio settings were messed up and it, uh, it, it was unusable footage. So I was just going to play the first part of this game on my own here until we get into part two which is the playthrough with all of us. This game's got some crazy effects on it. It looks really good. We're gonna start from the beginning. I'm going to play up to just to where uh, we get the audio fixed. And uh, so that's not particularly far. So tell me again about the men in masks. I see. Then let's start from the beginning. So that's the first mechanic. <laughs> you're, uh, you're a sword guy. And uh, kind of double jump. Uh, you can reflect bullets. Lots of cool stuff. Uh, the game plays kind of like Hotline Miami, as in it's like uh, you get one shot to do it perfectly, and if you die, you die, and you have to do it again. Uh, there's a there's a roll mechanic and stuff. There's a sneak mechanic, which comes in handy a couple times. I, I've beaten the game, so I have like an an extra a weapon. It's it's this uh, rainbow sword here. A uh, bunch of secrets you can find, like the prism key here. Uh, that that actually unlocks the weapon that I'm using now. Um, basically, it just colors the blood of uh, of people you've killed to be like that. Uh, this game is fucking awesome, by the way. Let me break that. And X to go in. Hello! Have you arrived? I'm almost there. The window of opportunity is closing. You'll need to work extremely quickly. A scientist is being held somewhere within the factory. Go on. Free him and rendezvous at the extraction post. Post haste. Understood. Make use of your precognition to eliminate anybody in your way. And remember, leave no survivors. So, you heard the word precognition just now. That's what this game is. Um, every level you do is you planning what you're going to do in the level. See, it says press Y to begin planning. So this is me saying this is what I want to do. So what I will first do is come up here, kill that guy, kill that guy, kill that guy, pet the cat, and leave. And then I'm like, yes, that was a good plan. But, and then it shows, this is the videotape of it actually occurring. So, like, that was exactly what I did. And they have, my employer has footage of that now. And it's like, oh shit. And he just blows his friend away with a laser. Doesn't give a shit about him. So you can roll through these. And I turn it off. And uh, so you can slow down time. And any slowed down time will not show up as slow down time in the footage afterwards. So you can slow down time and like reflect bullets and stuff. And, and uh, when it shows that, it'll show it happening in real time, which is really cool. 
See? Just like that. And then for here, I will have to do that. You know, to slow down so I can go through the fan at the right time. Just do it, and there it is. And then, if I die, it says, that won't work, saying, I planned that poorly. Let's go back to the drawing board and try it again. Nope, don't do the exact same thing twice. This time, kill everyone. Yeah, that's a much better idea. And also, uh, it, it's painting their blood different colors because of that special weapon I unlocked that prism key earlier for. Ugh. I heard a commotion downstairs. I just thought it was the pizza guy. Uh, can you walk? I guess that means you really aren't the pizza guy. Uh, let's find out. I was starting to think I wouldn't make it. Thank you. Think I've been bamboozled, guys. <laughs> Suit your blitz. I hope we got that on tape. Hey, boys, it's time to take out the trash. Mind the lasers. So I trick I just turned the laser back on and they did not see that coming. And this is the footage of all that happening. Your employers are displeased that your mission target was terminated before extraction. Go home and rest. You will receive a new assignment tomorrow. So this is home life for me. It's a pretty run-down apartment. The walls are cracking. There's this constant party going on over here. Turn on the TV. Yes, I will. At least 12 have been reported dead or injured at an abandoned factory in the 3rd District. Among the dead is Dawood Bay, a government scientist first reported missing three weeks ago. I'll drink some herbal tea. These are I've released a few days or gang related killings, supposedly. In other news. A coolant leak in the new Mecca water processing plant has contaminated all water systems in the 3rd District. So that's bad. 3rd District residents are urged not to use any running water until the coolant leak is contained. I'm just gonna crash on this couch. But don't use water for anything. Life is miserable. Catch mark. <laughs> oh, having some night terrors. Please come in and take a seat. You look well. Despite last night's circumstances, shall we begin? It's been two months since we halved your dosage. Are you still experiencing hallucinations? My nightmares have returned. I see. This could be a side effect of your treatment. Tell me about the dreams. There's a strange machine.
the shadow that enters the room. Tell me about that. It's heading towards me. It was going towards the machine. Perhaps the shadow was the machine's operator? It seems possible. Yes, the person probably did not wish to hurt you. You shouldn't be afraid of them. Yes, I think you're right. Our time is up. Let me get your files. Okay. Just getting injected with some strange substance. That's... That's not good. You've been very cooperative this session. The dossier has information on tonight's tasks. Task, we'll speak tomorrow. Let's take a look at that dossier then. That's a photo of my family. My wife, Anya's, and my daughter, Trisha. Perhaps you'll meet someday. Who knows? I don't. Josh Rose, well-regarded tech billionaire and philanthropist, chairman of the new Mecca Foundation for Post-War Reconstruction, clandestine involvement in the movement of materiel and war drugs, heavily guard ex exercise caution. And we, me and uh, Nathan in the original footage were talking about how we think materiel is a word specifically referring to military stuff. And we didn't look it up. And we still haven't looked it up. We recorded this months ago. Well, one month ago. Hello there, can I help you? I'll just be on my way. Wow, that's such an interesting outfit. It's called cosplay. Oh, I love anime. Who are you supposed to be? Pinkachu. When did Pinkachu get a sword? Season 17. Wow, I'm still on season 7. Guess I should have renewed my Webflix subscription. How did Pikachu get a sword anyway? I don't want to spoil it for you. Ooh hoo, say no more. Have a good day, Pikachu. Thanks. We're going to the murder hotel. I don't remember if that's exactly what I said last time, but it was something close to that. I went down the Pinkachu path. This game has a uh, has a bunch of different paths you can you can go on, uh, so it has a lot of replay value to it. Boss, the dragon, he's here. Raise the alarm. Look at that. This guy got fucked up. <laughs> Ooh, the skinny Ricky. Go through killing and killing and killing. Hey, who'd win in a fight? The dragon or strong Terry? You kidding me? Strong Terry never skips leg day. Yeah, but the dragon can dismember a fully does a dozen fully armed men with just a sword. That's huh. I guess the dragon would win. Yeah, that's that's a thing that the skinny Rickies do is they can kind of stun buffer you, and uh, they can cause problems. But it is around this point in the stream 
that uh, Jeff Schlegg showed up and told us that our audio was absolutely terrible. So, tomorrow, it'll pick up there with the rest of us from the footage we recorded the other day. Have a good night. <laughs>